Hello, welcome to the Biostock Studio here at the Medicom Village in Lund. Today we're taking a closer look at Alligator Bioscience, a biotech company based right here in Lund. Joining me in the studio today is CEO of the company, Søren Bragenholt. Welcome, Søren. Thank you, Mike. It's uh, great being back. I'd like to begin right away by discussing the Optimize 1 uh, mm. Phase 2 trial. Yeah. You recently announced dosing the first patient there. Could you tell us a little bit more about this trial? Yeah, definitely. That's, of course, a huge undertaking and, and milestone for Alligator that we're now uh, a Phase 2 company. So Optimize 1 is a, f a Phase 2 study, as you said, where we are uh, assessing the efficacy of uh, our CD40 agonist metazolumab, our our sort of uh, front-runner uh, molecule, uh, we are assessing the efficacy in pancreatic cancer in combination with, uh, with fulfurinox, the standard of care uh, chemotherapy, in a first-line setting, as I said. We are going to enroll uh, 67 patients uh, in the trial um, in, uh, in sites in uh, France and Belgium uh, as a starting point. And uh, we will read out the data from the trial initially in Q1 next year, and then the first uh, efficacy readout will be in uh, Q4 2022. Great. Well, you mentioned this is an important milestone for the company. Could you tell us why exactly? Oh, but on, on, on so many accounts. I mean, first of all, it's great for, for, for me, for the employees, for our investors and all the stakeholders to, to see that, that all the hard work over the many years have now come to fruition, bringing the molecule into the setting where we really believe that we can, can assess uh, the efficacy of the molecule in, 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 the patient, in the intended patient population. Then, of course, it's, uh, it's important to get your molecule in phase two per se. I mean, the strategy here is to, to bring it to, uh, to proof of concept at the end of the trial to really sort of um, leverage the value that we believe in, is in, uh, in the molecule and in the rest of our pipeline, of course, also. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, uh, this, this study is being done in, in pancreatic cancer patients. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose pancreatic cancer specifically? Oh, for, for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, pancreatic cancer is a, is a devastating disease. It's the, it's the seventh leading cause of, of uh, cancer death uh, worldwide. Uh, it's only approximately 20% of cancer of, of pancreatic cancer patients that are that are can be cured by surgery. So you so you have a huge po patient population that sort of rely on on medical treatment, um, and uh, even with the standard of care, the median survival time is only five to seven months, and and the five year survival rate is is 10%. So there is a huge unmet medical need. And if you then look at the biology of metazolumab, uh, it's a CD40 agonist, and, and the role of, uh, of dendritic cells in CD40 is well-validated indication. So, so based on, 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 on the indication, the medical need, uh, the biology, pancreatic cancer is, is an obvious first choice for metazolumab. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, so would you say that metazolumab is a long-term value-driven um, candidate for the company? Yeah, metazolumab uh, is, is definitely uh, the longer-term uh, value driver in, in alligator bioscience. Uh, my philosophy and, and the management and the board is behind this uh, is that we, we need to invest boldly in, in, in our lead uh, asset to really sort of unfold the value of, uh, of Alligate and, and the potential also of, of, of the rest of the pipeline will, will follow based on, uh, on success with, uh, with metacellumab. Not the least our longer term value driver, Neo X Prime, which is our uh, third generation immune uh, therapy platform where we do bispecific antibodies where one of the, one of the binding uh, arms is, is against CD40. So, so, so metacellumab is definitely a value driver for the company. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, jumping to, to other news, uh, you announced this summer a partnership with the Orion Corporation. Uh, what kind of partnership is this and why is it important for Alligator? Yeah, that was, uh, that was great to see that, uh, that deal come to fruition. So it's a, a classical, I would say, a biotech pharma uh, collaboration. Uh, Alligator is discovering uh, bispecific antibodies against the undisclosed targets uh, that uh, Orion will, uh, will then develop. So we get... Uh, Upfronts, uh, FTE coverage, uh, milestones, and royalties, as you uh, as you see in this type of deals, and and the deal also have a, have a options for two additional molecules uh, at uh, at uh, that Orion can uh, can execute. Mm -hmm. So that that's of course important for for a number of reasons. First of all, it, it validates our our technology. Uh, 
it validates our approach as a, as a collaborator. Uh, and finally, it gives uh, both uh, short uh, and longer term uh, revenue options for, uh, for or opportunities for, for alligator bioscience. Mm-hmm. Um, well, actually, you just announced, um, you made an announcement on your financing goals yeah. and uh, where you plan to raise funds in the near term. Yeah. Uh, could you ser- share some details on how you intend to use these funds and how the raise will help Alligator reach its milestones? Yeah, I, I mean, that, that's, a, that's, of course, a, a central question in, in how we sort of uh, play out uh, the Alligator strategy over the years to come. So we, we have sort of... Uh, decided to to sort of put the catchphrase of the alligator bites again uh, to to what we're doing right now. Uh, Going back to the beginning of our conversation on on Metacellumab, of course, the the majority of of these funds will will be allocated towards uh, accelerating and also expanding the phase two program for Metacellumab, which is the longer term value driver Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for Alligator. And we will then, of course, also allocate some funds to, uh, to some of the the other early uh, clinical programs, and and definitely also to uh, to Neo X Prime, as I see as uh, as the longer term value driver uh, in uh, in in alligator bioscience. Mm-hmm. Well, finally, last question, sir. And, uh, you were brought onto Alligator uh, to, among other things, help strengthen the company's uh, clinical and business development on the international level. Yeah. Uh, how would you say this is progressing? Uh, so first of all, I'm, I'm maybe not the, the right one to judge that, but uh, in, in sort of my own assessment, we, uh, we have now brought uh, Metacellum up into phase two. We are working uh, on, uh, on expanding that clinical program and getting it ac- accelerated uh, in Europe and, and hopefully also beyond. So I'd say on that account, we are, we are doing all that we can. On business development, we have, uh, we have started to... Uh, to focus both in Metacellum up uh, 1017, which is our late stage phase one uh, molecule, um, and also, as I said, uh, Neo X Prime, uh, our, our platform. I see that as a uh, as a deal uh, catalyst in the in the midterm, and we are working very hard uh, globally on uh, on securing deals on on these three assets. Great. Well, thank you so much for answering these questions, and we wish you all the best for the upcoming work at Alligator. Yeah, yeah. thank you. It's been a pleasure.